And still now, 20 years later, I'm getting phone calls from sick workers who are seeking help. No one knew what they were doing out there. They were just thrown in from all walks of life, and our equipment was lousy, and so you just had to work with what you had. And like everybody else, I was wanting to do something to help. And so I signed on and went out. <laughs> Much to my surprise, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. On the Bering Trader, there was 180 people. And they would do their work of spraying every day, 12 hours, 16 hours a day. It was like a war zone out there. And that steam is coming up all over everywhere. Everybody who came through my area to go to work, I would feel responsible for their welfare. They were weary, they were coughing, and it was constant, and even headaches, and upset stomachs. I was always getting bronchitis, and it would not go away. I was coughing, my chest, and uh, I was always on medication. I had never. I w I've been healthy all my life. Going from someone who's very outdoorsy, working in the garden, to having to minimize my actions has really been a step down for me. But the most important thing that Exxon felt at that time was just to make a you know, public appearance of cleaning the oil, and they didn't care. Because if they had it, they would have... They would have taken care of us better. 